Hey all, Tavs here, back playing some more Planet Zoo. So I've paused the game because it's getting a little bit laggy uh, for me. Uh, I think it's because of the number of guests that I've got in here. So I've just um, I've just tweaked the number of guests. But um, a few things have changed. I haven't played for or haven't made a video on this for a little while. So I thought I'd just show you kind of the updates so far. Um, several new sort of projects in in progress and then we'll focus on specifically a new one today uh, but so last time we looked at um, the hippo habitat uh, so I've done a few bits and pieces little tweaks just to just a few kind of detailing things here and there so just we just kind of fly through here um, so just some signs and some bits and pieces that are starting to sort of bring it together a few little information boards uh, I've put a path up here, which the guys actually have started using, interestingly enough, although it's not actually um, it's not finished yet, and this goes to a kind of unfinished area over here. But this is going to be like a um, sort of cafe thing on the mountain, restaurant thing on the mountain, um, really just as a like a more of like a lookout spot. Um, and then if we head down here, this I've fleshed out quite a bit since last time. So this whole area, um, I think I had this in the last episode, this little kind of corner here, uh, but it was sort of an empty area. So just put some more refreshments in, some toilets, and we're moving into a new section over here, which is going to be like the East Wetlands. Um, and then the big kind of build project that I did, uh, again, just sort of really cutting my teeth at the with the... Um, building and stuff so a bit of a sort of backstage area and then I built this kind of large classic um, hippo house so this is where because I've bought, bought quite a lot of them in now um, and you can, as I said in the last episode you can get up to 26 and they were sort of were running out of space on the other side so this is supposed to be more like a sort of backstage Ooh, what is going on there a flying turd that's nasty. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be more like a backstage area. It's much more sort of practical. Obviously, it's a it's a quite an I guess it's quite an ornate building for this purpose. Um, so maybe not kind of right, and I'm not a hundred percent happy with it, but but pretty happy with the detailing and stuff like that. Um, started a kind of a new staff path back here. And um, that's some of my sort of just bits and pieces I'm experimenting with. This is a little backstage area there. And then all of that stuff on the other side of the river I haven't really showed you guys yet, but um, it's all just kind of just to get, it's really just to get guest traffic in and pull people along the path and stuff. So I think that is most of the stuff that you haven't seen so far. Um, oh, I think there's maybe there's one extra bit I haven't showed you. Um just over here don't believe I've shown this in any videos but this is another sort of just a staff area um, so if we just kind of swoop the camera down over here so this is the, um, this is sort of the, what I'm hoping to kind of get to once it's sort of filled out that it feel things feel feel more sort of filled in and real um, so I really like this I think this is weirdly this is kind of my favorite area in the park we're in the zoo. I'm sort of seeing a very closed off area from, from guests and stuff at the moment. But um, so that is, I think that is everything up to date. Um, what we are looking at today, um, it's going to be a bit random. So I put a few episodes ago. I put this in. God, I've got like stuff just kind of scattered everywhere that I need to tidy up. But a few episodes ago, I put I put this mandrel habitat in just to kind of pull th people through um, the refreshments. So when we bought the, built the mall, um, this was just to kind of pull people and give people a, a reason to come through. It was always going to be temporary. And what we're actually going to do, I had this kind of weird idea of like a sinkhole habitat. Um, so I have got a vague idea of what I'm going to do. Um, and it's not going to be this. I was going to use the, you know, the method to kind of make a nice smooth path but I think I've now kind of changed that oh and the other thing the other only other thing I have started doing is I've started putting in 
um, like a pier, not a pier, sort of a, um, what would you call this? Like a boardwalk, I guess. Um, and yeah, there's going to be some boats and stuff on here, but this is, that's all for a later episode. Anyway, so, um, I think what I'll do um, is I'll get it to a kind of a stage where it's ready to show you some progress, and then I'll bring you back in and show you that. All right, so back in a bit. Okay, so this is probably about as good a point as any to bring you back in. So I've just been, uh, progress has been made, obviously, as you can see. It's getting a bit crazy. Um, I think there's just a lot of pieces involved now. Uh, so what, I ba what I've done is I've sort of filled out, this all needs to be worked on, and yeah, none of this is anywhere near complete yet. But as a first stage, I've sort of hidden this river. Um, this is the edge of the, the, the zoo boundary, so I've just kind of tried to hide it in the in the trees. I'll do some more work on that, and obviously on this on this uh, the shoreline. But it's supposed to be that there was a river here. There has been a river here um, that was flowing into the main river, um, and then there's yeah, this sort of sinkhole that appeared over time. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because obviously the actual hole is a lot bigger than the hole that the, the water grates but never mind um so yeah i'm not going to get too close to it because it it gets a bit laggy um, and you start to see some of the um some of the effects uh the little fountain things come through but yeah so a lot of just um layers and you know bits of bits of rock work and stuff that kind of breaks up the edges and then I put a few trees in here and that actually kind of really made a big difference um, so it's basically that it kind of hits this first little pool here and then falls down into this kind of you know, nothingness below which is supposed to be the, the bottom of the sinkhole so yeah I think that's kind of all right so far um, I'm gonna just be so the, the sort of the plan with this was was it um, it's going to be kind of this is all like retained wall on this side so it's going to be sort of modern here uh, and then this is going to be yeah, you'll have seen it in the thumbnail but this is going to be where all the monkey habitats are um, and then I'm thinking this back wall is going to be some sort of um, some sort of like relic thing I don't know monument -y sort of thing um, I'm not entirely sure of the law of it because we're obviously in uh, oh under the, under the ground. We're under we're in the UK here, so uh, I'm sort of doing suspension disbelief and just going. It's going to be whatever I decide it's going to be, uh, and you'll probably already know more because you'll have seen it in the thumbnail. So um, I don't haven't decided yet. I mean, it's very deep underground, obviously. So this is like not very realistic of anything, but. Uh, I'm going to play around with it and see how it comes out. So I'm just going to finish this edge off um, and then I'll probably bring you back with the next step when some more progress has been done. Right, so stage two. So I have completed the walkway. Well, to an extent, I've completed the walkway. Uh, dressed this up a bit. I've put into these sort of support structures and some lights uh, and I've put these little kind of little cubby holes for people to sit in as they come down uh, done a bunch more rock work started the rock work on the edges and stuff so I'm just I'm not going to fill the whole thing with rock I'm just going to kind of do this where I scatter the rock around um, a couple of planters um, so the idea is, and I'm going to hide a bunch of stuff in this wall because there's a bunch of space behind this, but my initial first stage was just done this kind of little backstage area. Uh, well, this is the toilets and the back entrance to the backstage area. So I used that sign that I'd used before, built this kind of custom, um, I don't know, custom education board about uh, issues and stuff. I actually ended up putting my own little font together, which is kind of cool, um, because I wanted to say really tiny, and Rice's fonts are amazing, but they're actually not quite small enough for that. Um, so you can only do this in the white, uh, and it uses the the same thing I'd use to do the lines there, but uh, it's the, the water drip 
or the drip sign. This, I think it's like the smallest thing in the game, but um, so yeah, put that font together. And then if we just go through here, it's a bit tight back here, but this is the staff area. It's another little sort of batch stage thing. Put this little shelf together using the um, spotlights and stuff. So we've got a staff room there, big large staff room. And then this isn't complete, but this path is going to then head down to some more of the backstage areas. There's a generator and stuff down here. Uh, and that's what it all looks like from the back. So if we just zoink through here. So that is probably stage two. Um, obviously lots more to go. So I shall bring you back at the next big jump. And we now have a lift. So I sort of decided, uh, based on the kind of height and stuff, that it needed to have some sort of lift in here. So um quite pleased with the way this turned out, actually. I think it looks pretty realistic. Lots of pieces involved. Um, I think I'm probably going to upload this as a, blue a blueprint, so I might put the, um, the link in the description. So top part of the part of the lift with the you know, little up and downy things, kind of a little motor thing in there button indicator there it's obviously only going up and down or it's only going down from here so um and these guys are just stranded so i could see uh the position of this um and lots of like random pieces in here uh, and then as we go down i made a chain uh, so i made this chain out of oh yeah that's a lot of pieces as well uh, one of the metal bracket pieces that is uh, and then just a sort of linkage to the to the actual capsule uh, and then this is the actual lift itself uh, so I've got a little carpet and stuff in here oh, that's slightly out of alignment but never mind um, so the lift goes from the top up here all the way through this shaft and then comes out down in this little corridor so this is down the down that lowest level i think i'm not going to go any lower than this i think everything under here is going to be staff and the um yeah, the habitats for the for the animals or the, the shelters for the animals right then so crazy temple i think is complete uh i'm not really sure what it's supposed to be but um i just kind of did a thing <laughs> <laughs> this is what it is um i don't know if it's supposed to be i sort i mean these are sort of as techy i guess but then obviously this is like as i said it's the, it's the temperate biome so um and i've sort of you know blending it in with it's becoming more uh sort of more feeling tropical but this is all still ivy and stuff so uh so yeah you'd have to let me know what you think of that um I'll probably end up doing more to it but I think the next stage is the next and final stage is to get some get some habitats going on in here because at the moment this is just obviously just do that camera just is obviously just one big hole right I am pretty pleased with the way this has come out if I do say so myself so yeah, it's looking pretty lush now. Big, big, big climbing frame in the middle, uh, which they do. They use all of it actually. They don't use the net, obviously. That's a. Um, but yeah, just these big kind of play areas for them. Put lots and lots of foliage in. And it looks really good now. It's got all the, you know, obviously the peeps coming down and the, and it all kind of filled out. So yeah, it's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Lots of basically, lots of little just custom structure pieces. Um, I have to say the animations look really good sometimes. Like that's really cool. So we've got chimps in here. We've got apes in here. Um, I'll show you around the rest of it, but just to give you kind of a a tour of the the climbing frame. So these are made these nets. As I say, they don't use those, but they do use most of well i think they use all the rest of the structure let's just have a quick look 
Where is one of my guys? Be right back on a second. Yeah, so they can get all the way up to the top. Um, I decided not to include the temple. I may change that at some point in the future. Um, may want them just to be able to climb on that. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. And there's just loads and loads of obviously. This is a bit of an FPS killer down here, but it's a lot of foliage. So what I wanted them to be kind of difficult to spot in the foliage. So when they're down on the ground level, it's really dense. You know, obviously it's kind of pushing through all the undergrowth. But then when they come up onto the structures and there's obviously there's things to encourage them up onto the structures. Um, so keepers can get up onto these levels. Keepers can't get up everywhere, but they get into a bunch of places. Um, the only problem is trying to click them sometimes. It's a bit of a pain. Um, oh, hello. I mean, everybody should be looking at this guy, surely. Not anybody else. <laughs> uh, I'll show you just to put, just put in some... As you've sort of got to, basically, everywhere in the game, it seems you have to have um, some refreshments. Um Mostly water, mostly drink by the by my reckoning it seems to be. It's quite dark down here, I have to say, that's one of the only things I've noticed that obviously because of where we are, um it's quite shady, but I actually quite like that. I did consider putting in some some mist effects and stuff, but I felt like it just was gonna be a bit too much um on the FPS, but um putting this kind of weird I don't know, sort of just an interest really and then if we go inside so they do spend a lot of their time hidden away I have to say which is a bit of a shame but they do kind of hang out in these in these little areas so we've got you know I think we've got like three apes I mean if we've got yeah so three three uh grown-up apes and then a couple of little infants and then we've got uh, sorry gorillas and then we've got a bunch of chimps as well and that one's pregnant um, four of those at the moment and again i think a couple of babies so just a little indoor area for them to hang out shelter um and then there's another one of these on the other side uh this one i've put i put in like a oh nice turd i put in like a um uh sort of supposed to be like a closable gate and um, so they can seal this off if they want and there's like a little keypad thing that I made there um, so they can seal this off but again it's similar and um, this one's got again this has got water in it um, and you know this sort of this grid so that you know it's got a sort of practical uh, the practical purpose if they want to clean it out and then I did this sort of thing let's go and see this from the other side actually because this kind of makes more sense on the other side so this is out of the habitat into the into the staff areas um, and then I don't know if you've seen, I just was playing around really, but this is supposed to be like a, if you've seen Planet of the Apes, this is the test they do with the, this is like the intelligence test that they do with the apes. Um, so you have to move the ring. So this one, this is a little seat on this side for the ape, for the, the chimpanzee to come and sit in. Uh, and then this is the, this is supposed to be like the, the, yeah, the vet or the, or the um, keeper sits and, and sort of looks after them. Uh, and does the test with them and then I kind of made this I, mean, I think it's sort of all right as a computer um obviously the screen is pretty massive um but yeah so I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out there's still work to do there's like nothing up there that's all kind of still facade still um but yeah you'll have to let me know what you think guys um I'll do some cinematics at the end here but that is broadly it um and then I think the only thing that I've done I've started to kind of work on how this gets stitched together with the main, with the rest of the park. So this is probably, this is the big bit that kind of stitches everything together now that we're, that we're lacking. This is all going to be replaced, obviously. I think this is all going to be primates here um, and potentially on this side as well. And then I'm not sure how we're going to kind of transition the path through. Um, and then obviously so we've got the boardwalk and stuff here but this is the uh, probably the main 
the key part of the, the park now to sort of stitch together or the zoo to stitch stitch these two areas together so next episode may well be some of that or some of this i'm not sure we shall see all right hope you found that interesting guys um i will do some cinematics just to uh, end the episode but uh, my name is Topes. thank you very much for watching take it easy <laughs>